Hey guys, Kid Guru here, Laker Coolman, uh, just at the channel right now. So, today I have a Vegas tutorial for you guys. I just wanted to do a quick mention on the channel. Soon you'll be seeing all the Vegas tutorials and all my other videos pretty much be summed up in a playlist. That way you can access them easier. Right now I have some Vista tips, tricks, tutorials. You'll see all the Vegas tutorials, including Sony introduction, stuff like that, all right here. So that way you, you don't have to reference them, even if, like, uh, for example, how part one was made back a month ago while part two was just made recently. So if I said... Uh, Vegas Part 2. It was made uh, recently, so about three days ago. So you don't have to, like, actually, uh, you know, go back. It'll all be set up in a playlist, and you can watch them in unison, stuff like that. Or not unison, but in sequence. Sequential sequence, or however you say it. Anyhow, uh, if you notice, I'm using, I'm going to be using a different, uh, uh, what do you call it, region. I'm using the 460 by 380 I believe uh, that's what the YouTube resizes it to so it looks clean format uh, clean, clean quality and you know I try to adjust the quality so it's a little bit higher and along with the audio I try to make it you know more in sync and more you know a little bit better so with that I do have a tutorial today on green screening or chroma keying in general I should say chroma key in Sony Vegas Pro 8.0 now I'm pretty sure uh, I'm not sure but for the most part, you should have this in the other Vegas editions. I'm not sure because I don't have Movie Studio. I have 8.0 Pro, so it's you know whatever. Uh, I haven't used the other previous versions. So first off, uh, this is a this project that I'm using is not a very very you know not really good shot at all of my green screen. First off, you can see there's the lines not even perfectly down there. Uh, I don't have good lighting. I have some posters behind the thing, so it's kind of see through. Well, it's natural light, which is like reflecting shadows and it's going right through not only that my green screen's only plastic it was a cheaper model it was just it's good for uh snapshots and stuff and it can it can do some uh decent uh recording it's just that at the time i didn't you know really adjust lighting i didn't flatten it out i didn't adjust the camera so you know it was it only saw green and not only that i didn't uh really take the time to get everything down from behind it. Now my green screen's more set up, but this is the only footage I have at the moment, so I'm gonna get right into it. Sorry for rambling on, but anyways. So first off, you wanna get your media, and for the most part I'm just gonna delete this audio, cause, oh, my bad. I don't really need the audio, so delete uh, track. Okay, I don't need the audio. Just basically, uh, right now, so you have your green screen, it could be blue screen, whatever, go down to chroma key in your uh, video FX, and then you have green screen, which is your basic green screen, you have a pure red screen, a pure green screen, and pure blue screen. Now this is for, uh, you know, obviously pure, just highly, highly pure that color, whatever it may be. You don't even have to have a screen, you can be keying out specifically that color. So let's say you have uh, you know, pure blue on, or you're wearing pure blue, or there's something in the video that's pure blue, and you want to uh, key that out. By keying, it means to key out one color, to key in one color, you know, whatever the color may be. And uh, you can put multiple uh, keys on it, it's up to you, and whatever your color, these are the most common ones that, you know, uh, stick out there. So we're going to use green for this one obviously and basically you just drag it on and you're going to get this effect and if you notice you can actually see the post in the background which is pretty cool and everything if you see the, the rough outline just all around me keyed out everything that was green to the color within here now here you can set your red as you see you see there and this would be your green your main colors red green and blue and you can adjust that to your liking and if you 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 can't notice in the background, but if the more I move that, darker it gets. So you're gonna want to mess around with your settings here. I'm just getting into the basics of keying. You can manually adjust it here, but it's more easier to me to move around slider. So this is just manually adjusting your colors. But here you can just move it all around your red, green, and blue to get a uh, you know a fine shade. So let's and if you notice, uh, for example, if I move over to here, and since that's a uh, you know not really alignment of green, it's more, you know, the red's off, the green's off, the blue's off, it's not even that color region, it tends to key out random colors, or colors assigning to that, you see my face is distorted, uh, so that just goes to show you can key out pretty much anything that the color has on it, you don't have to, you know, have that screen, the screen's basically there, though, to be more, you know, professional, uh, and, uh, you know, look more neat, and, you know, stuff like that, but if you can get other substances, there's, there are sometimes other substances that, you know, work fine. So for now, I'm just going to adjust this so it's uh, at least purplish. 
and you can have your threshold right here, low threshold. Usually this will, you know, make things a little darker. Cool little effect there. Uh, now that your low threshold, you may adjust that, but usually, you know, unless you want your a little bit darker, this will make it more brighter, so it's kind of the opposite. Pretty much the opposite, so the higher it is, the darker it is, the lower the threshold is, the brighter it is. The blur amount you may need to use sometimes if you want to blur your background to make it look more realistic. Sometimes it's, you know, uh, it's a little grainy, so you might want to blur it out, uh, you know, stuff like that. So that's, you can set that. Now you also have a show mask only, which will basically just show the mask, and there is no mask there, so it's just all white. So you basically, you won't, for the most part, won't need that. So pure green screen is going to cure out purely that color, of course, and it's just going to have a little bit more, uh, you know, uh, settings on it. It's, like again, it's more pure that color, so it sets the just as the settings for you. And like I said, just play around with that if you want, and you see there. But now let's get into uh, actually overlaying a picture upon the green screen, or whatever it may be. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert another video track here. And then what we're going to do is, sorry there, I had to pause the video to make sure uh, I had to import the picture and I had to find the picture, uh, which is right here. So, sorry about that, my mistake. Uh, yeah, the audio might have just like totally switched sides. But anyhow, uh, getting a picture within uh, the green screen is actually pretty easy here. I just had to find my picture and it was on my desktop. And this is a little swirl thing that uh, a good friend of mine and staff member of Tech World, we four nine three, check out his channel. He made this on Photoshop. Just a, he was just making you know these cool swirls, and uh, basically how you do it is well you're gonna have two tracks and you're gonna put your v picture or video whatever it may be under your green screen uh, obviously, and as you see here it's creed keyed out everything that was green and just put that picture on it. So, um, what you want to do is you're just going to go to your video and go to your, either your event effects if you already have your chroma key on, and you're just going to tell your eyedropper tool, the eyedropper tool, and pick the green or your blue or whatever you're keying out, whatever color you're keying out. So, in my case, it was green, so, and I'll show you again what I meant, what I mean by this. Uh, so, basically, uh, chroma key, right? So I just click this, I click the green, now it does that, and now if I enable it, you'll notice that, yeah, because mine wasn't enabled. So find your color, blue, green, red, whatever it may be, black even, just key out whatever color by using the eyedropper tool, and then put the picture on the bottom so it overlays whatever it was keyed out. So if you notice, uh, through my head there isn't much of there's a little see-through that's because all the settings aren't tweaked but if you you know adjust your settings as you please you know your threshold your blur if you want to do that and if I undo my if you notice there's a now it's more see-through but uh... And you can even show mask only and if you notice I'm the only mask because uh... you can actually the picture isn't a part of the mask so this is your mask right here and then you're just under you're uh, pretty much keying in the picture and you can do it with the video same thing and you can even have a, I believe you can even have like a little animation or a video oh yeah pretty much you can have a video playing on top of that or you can have a picture of yourself in front of a green screen and then just overlay your background on so you know have a little fun with that and you can adjust your low threshold now if I make that it'll make me darker and it actually kinda keys me out so uh, and you can you know just adjust this so and if you notice, if I do that, it looks kind of more realistic, doesn't it? And if I go ahead and exit that, and then I just drag these clips right here to the start, and I hit play from start, it may not be perfect. You know that? It's all keyed out in the back, and you can hear it again, like I said, it's not the best, uh, but it does a pretty good job. If you notice, and you see that little rough outline, you can adjust more uh, settings to your green screen, you know, your threshold, etc. Uh, as you please, and add a little bit more whatever effects you want to add, color balance, cookie cutter, stuff like that. Uh, you can add more blurs, glows, whatever you want to add to, you know, make your video look more professional. And again, this is just done with a plastic green screen that I ordered from tubetape.com, T-U-B-E-T-A-P-E.com, for $15. So guys, uh, that was my tutorial today on basic, uh, chroma keying, uh, whatever color it may be, how to overlay a video or picture on top, same method, and just basic chroma keying. So guys, have fun, and I uh, hope to uh, see more videos with my uh, green screen in the future. Anyways guys, thanks for watching.